Um, now, Josh, thank you so much for helping me today. Um, as you see, we've got our sonogram going. Our sonogram, it doesn't really show pitch, it shows brightness of sound. So as the sound gets brighter, the colour fills up and vice versa. And I brought it today because I want to find out which instruments are brightest out of percussion. So we started with these metals and let's find out out of these four which is brighter because I have no idea. Okay, great. I'm feeling that you kind of think you know. But you never know. But this is the proof. Okay, here we go. This comes from the, the start of the sound. The attack. But I would have thought this would be really, really bright. But it only goes that far. Mm. Now let's try the next one. And this one, Josh, is called? The wind gong. Wind gong. Okay, let's see. So you get less of the attack, but you get a lot more value for your effort, don't you? Sure do. Okay. Now the next one we have to try is this one, which is a... Opera gong. Wow. <laughs> See, that's the weird thing about brightness. They're all bright. But this one has all the, all the separated layers. Whereas the other ones were more. I suppose that's why you can hear the pitch. Do it again because I'm interested in how down here you can see that bend of the pitch. Okay, let's try that. That moves. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Okay, so it's another choice for the piece for later on. Finally, we have the triangle. And I just, I cannot guess what it's going to look like. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be like one little line somewhere down here with a lot of shimmer above. Yep. Anyway, let's give it a go. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so we have six snares and in the score six notes. So, I mean, this is just an experiment because I want to see if if I take this and map it onto this, whether it works with all snare drums. Uh, snares on the first time, that works for you. Snares off. Off. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Here we go, same, this is the same exit. Nice. 
Uh, Timothy, could you just roll from soft to loud, just on that one, for me, so we can see the, the shape of it getting brighter as you go loud? Tell us about these instruments. These are a collection of wooden instruments. There's the very smallest one here is what we call a piccolo woodblock. Piccolo, you might have heard, you know, with other uh, members of the woodwind family, yeah. denotes something very high. Listen yeah. how high this one is. It's an extremely high instrument. And you only played that soft that time. It's very penetrating. Mm -hmm. These are temple blocks. which, although they're also quite bright because they're wood, they're a little bit of a rounder sound, I think, certainly. Than and you have different sizes of the wood blocks as well. Exactly. Now, I'm interested for this brightness piece that I'm doing for my research to see what the sounds sound like and look like on the sonogram. So can we just go through one at a time and get a sense of what they look like? Absolutely. Start at the bottom, shall I we? mean, what what do you think they're going to look like? That's well, <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> I think they're going to be different to one another. They certainly sound different. We might even be able to see like a melody in the sound. interesting isn't it there's very definite little peaks on the other instruments it's been a different character mm -hmm. these ones are very defined you'd say wouldn't you? very precise and I guess that's why the, the pitch is quite focused to me I usually think of these as non melodic instruments but um, I don't know thinking like a composer I think you could possibly do something that is sort of has at least a shape to it, like a contour. Absolutely. Can you yeah. improvise something now that is a bit like that? Sure. Josh, I'm interested in finding out what happens when you put three of the same percussion instruments together. I think uh, the triangle looks amazing on screen, but I want to see what happens when, if does it get brighter, what happens when we put three here. So should we try it? Bree, can you play yours first? Okay, Josh, play yours. See, I'm interested that there's some notes in that one that are not in the other one. Here's mine. So, different again. So let's have one after the other quickly first. Again. And now we're going to roll so that we get the texture. I like how it looks, how it kind of sounds. You hear a shimmer, but you can also hear specific notes in there. Good one. 